find the first order partial derivatives for the function f of xy is equal to x cubed minus 8x squared y minus 8xy cubed. Now, looking at the function, we see we have two independent variables. So we are going to have two first order partial derivatives. So here we go. Let's start by finding the partial derivative of this function with respect to x. Now, as always, it is crucial to keep in mind, what am I differentiating with respect to? Well, here we're differentiating with respect to x. So I want you to keep in mind that we are going to treat that variable y like a constant. So we're going to treat it as if it's a real number and then differentiate as if we have a single variable function. So we're going to differentiate with respect to x. So here we go. So taking our original function, we are going to really remind ourselves, what are we differentiating with respect to? We're differentiating with respect to x. So we're going to take the ddx of both sides here. We are indicating to ourselves, I am differentiating with respect to x. So I have d dx of x cubed minus 8x squared y minus 8xy cubed. So the partial derivative of this function with respect to x is equal to... So what's the first thing we have here? We have just x cubed. All right, well, we know how to differentiate that. That's simply 3x squared. Now, the next thing that we bump into is minus 8x squared y. Now, keep in mind, we are treating y as if it's a constant. So we treat y the same way we treat 8. Leave it alone. So what is the derivative of x squared? 2x. So we have minus 8 times 2, or minus 16xy. And last but not least, we have minus 8xy cubed. Now again, this y cubed is a constant. So what is the derivative of x? It's 1. So we would say that this is minus 8 times 1, or just minus 8y cubed. And there we have it. This is the beautiful partial derivative of the function with respect to x. So now we want to go ahead very similarly and find the partial derivative of the function with respect to y. And just as with this first partial derivative, it is essential to keep in mind, what am I differentiating with respect to? Well, here we are differentiating with respect to y. So in this case, we are going to treat the variable x like a real number or like a constant. And we will then differentiate as if we have a single variable function. So we differentiate with respect to y. So here we go. Again, to emphasize what are we differentiating with respect to, we indicate this if we're using ddy. We, take the, we are taking the derivative of the function with respect to y here. So we have ddy of both sides. So that's ddy of the originally given function x cubed minus 8x squared y minus 8xy cubed. All right, so we have the partial derivative of the function with respect to y is equal to what? Well, again, the first thing that we bump into is x cubed. But don't forget, we're treating x like a constant. So what's the derivative of a constant? Zero. So that x cubed goes to zero. Minus, so what's the next thing that we bump into? We have minus 8x squared y. So what is the derivative of y? It's 1. So I have minus 8x squared times 1, or just minus 8x squared. And last but not least, we have minus 8xy cubed. So again, we're only differentiating with respect to y. 
So what is the derivative of y cubed? It's 3y squared. So we have minus 8 times 3, or minus 24xy squared. And we don't really need that zero in the front. We're just putting it there for emphasis since this is our first time looking at this. But we would write our beautiful final answer as the partial derivative of f with respect to y as minus 8x squared minus 24xy squared. And so this is our final answer here for the partial derivative of our function with respect to y.